So weight loss for a, a lot of people is very challenging, you know, especially as we get older, getting the, the last few pounds or getting any movement sometimes on weight loss is uh, excruciating. And I really like to work with people and help them make this happen and helping women make this happen has become something I'm very good at. So let's go over something today that I've run into with several clients and see if this can help you as well. So flax is long been touted as a superfood, right? It's got high omega threes, it's got fiber, all these benefits that are supposed to be uh, really helpful. But there is a chemical in it, a plant chemical, and it's called lignin. And it actually acts like estrogen. It's an estrogen mimicker, right? And as we, oh, as you may know, estrogen being out of balance or any of the fertility hormones being out of balance can lead to no weight loss, added body fat, or a stalled plateaued situation, right? So having something like flax in your diet is usually not helpful with weight loss. Now, it may be something you use to keep yourself regular and you might have to find a replacement for it um, because it may be keeping you bo your body a little fatter than you want, <laughs> to be blunt. And it may have other benefits, like you're getting omega-3s from it and you may need to replace it with another source. And I'll go over that. So it's not to say there aren't benefits from it or things that could be helpful, but it is often outweighed for most people that I've worked with by these this aspect of this plant chemical that your body recognizes or thinks to some degree is estrogen. And then this leads to you know, an imbalance in estrogen. And that's a pretty, you no, know, that's a hormone you don't want to mess with, right? So in, for many reasons, we're just looking at body fat right now. So although it's very nutritious, and again, I'm not trying to say anything bad about it, estrogen being out of balance, right, which causes all sorts of problems, but also there's other health issues that can happen. It can lead to problems with bone density, right? So if estrogen is out of balance, your body doesn't transport and put on the bone mass you need. It can lead to cholesterol issues with women. So, and there are other issues as well. I'm not going to get into all of those because we're looking at weight loss right now. But the long story short, eliminate flax and find another replacement for, for it because there have been many studies now that back this up. It's not just something I've clinically noticed or had others who are in this, in this area of women's weight loss also mention it to me. Uh, you know, the estrogen like properties of these lignans that are found in flax come up again and again as being something that can lead to added body fat, right? So what can you do to replace them? So there are a lot of sources of omega-3s. Let's start with that um, that you can use. And I will always recommend going for foods that are don't have any anti-nutrients in them. So plant, not plant-based foods, um, but actual meat sources. And so some of them are salmon. Of course, you've probably heard of that, high omega-3 rich food. A mackerel and anchovies, grass-fed and finished beef. So you may not have known that beef has very high amount of, of omega-3 fatty acids if it's grass-fed. If it's grain-fed, it's not. So don't think that you can go. Oh, okay, I'm going to go get a steak from um, the local restaurant unless it's a you know farm-to-table type situation where it's actually a grass-fed steak that you're getting. You're not doing this. You're, you're getting protein, but you're not getting omega-3 fatty acids. In fact, you're getting inflammatory omega-6 fatty acids if you're not eating grass-fed. Just saying. There are some nuts like walnuts that, that can be used if you're looking for a plant source. Hemp seeds have a lot of omega-3s as well, hemp hearts. So those are some simple sources. With that right there, you could definitely replace your flax in your diet. And it, and if you're going for, okay, well, I need this for my constitution, it keeps me regular. There are plenty of other sources of fiber out there. And you might take a look at uh, adding psyllium husk, right? Or you might just add more healthy mineral salt, Redmond's real salt or pink Himalayan salt to your diet, which makes your body absorb and put a liquid into your digestive tract, right? So it's not always just about fiber, it's something to know. So that those two things are pretty easily handled as far as what you can do to replace flax. It's not like if you don't have flax in your diet, it's going to create this critical situation for you. There are plenty of ways to get the omega-3s. There are plenty of ways to get fiber. And I would encourage you to try that if you are experiencing any sort of plateau on your weight loss, or if you know you get flax muffins every morning, you know, try going for a different type of muffin, right? 
I'll try eliminating the muffins altogether, maybe. So, but the idea is just take a look at your diet. This may be a hidden ingredient that you haven't thought of that could be leading to added body fat or hitting a plateau. Um, some people are just sticking a scoop of it in their shake every day. We'll stop doing that. Add, add a scoop of something else, psyllium husk or do something else that works for you. Okay, great. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me.